everyone, I'm Sarah of Verge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet a foundation double crochet stitch, uh, which is this row that you see here. And a foundation double crochet stitch is, uh, is instead of working a foundation chain, uh, to a certain multiple and then going back and working in those little loops to double crochet instead you're going to do it all at the same time so it's quite a handy little trick if you really don't like working into foundation chains it's one that I hope to start using in some of my crochet projects uh, it's just a really easy one once you have mastered it so this is the foundation double crochet stitch. Go back and check out how to work the foundation single crochet and half double crochet stitch. Those tutorials are also here on my YouTube channel. And while you're here, please don't forget to subscribe. I like to update this channel weekly and I would love to have you uh, watching and hanging out with me each week. So why don't you grab uh, say yarn and a hook and let's learn how to crochet the foundation double crochet stitch. So many times when you are working a pattern, it will ask you uh, to start with a foundation chain of a certain number of stitches, and then it'll ask you for your first row to work a row of double crochet stitches. So instead of working that foundation chain and then working back into it to work your double crochet, in this we are going to work it all at the same time. So there's no working in those tight little stitches. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to make your slip knot, which you would at the beginning of any foundation chain. And for my foundation double crochet, I like to start with a chain of four because quite often in my patterns, that first chain three, I count as a stitch. So I'm going to crochet four chains. Then you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into that fourth chain. Yarn over and draw up a loop. You're going to have three loops on your hook. Now you want to work your chain stitch. So you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through that first loop on your hook, keep it loose, and that forms your first chain. You can see it right down here by my thumb. You're now going to, with your chain stitch worked, you're going to work a double crochet stitch. So yarn over, pull through those first two loops, yarn over, and pull through two more. That's your double crochet stitch. So you now have a chain three and a double crochet, and down here under my thumb is my chain stitch. Now say your pattern wants you to work a chain of five or six. So we have our chain, our um, first one here is our chain three, which, which counts as a stitch in this case. Then we have our second double crochet stitch. We're now going to work another double crochet. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to go down to that chain stitch. You'll see a V when you look at the bottom. I'll take my hook out here and you can see a V here. You're going to yarn over and insert your hook under those two loops of the V of that chain stitch and yarn over and draw up a loop three loops on your hook, you're going to make your chain stitch, yarn over and draw under that first loop. Still three loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and draw through two, yarn over and draw through two more and that makes your double crochet stitch. You've now worked two foundation double crochet stitches. We're going to keep going, yarn over, find your V there at the bottom, insert your hook under those two loops, yarn over and draw up a loop. Work your chain stitch, yarn over, draw through that first loop. Now work your double crochet, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. I'll show you once more. We yarn over, insert your hook back under the V of the chain stitch that you made, yarn over and draw up a loop. Make your chain stitch, yarn over and draw through that first loop, then yarn over and draw through two, yarn over to draw through two more to complete your double crochet stitch. And so you can keep going 
and make your foundation row as many double crochet stitches as you need uh, for the pattern for whatever it calls for. It's just a really simple and quick way of working that foundation chain and first row of double crochet stitches. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to work the foundation double crochet stitch. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a like or a share. And until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.